Hello and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Avan and today we are going to make modules, I think. But first I'm going to do some small stuff. I know I forgot yesterday to reconnect these and that's bad <laughs> because, yeah, you know, it's bad. So I'm going to start by doing that. Let's connect down here. And here. And then we can get our research flowing again. At least we had a bit of a build up on some of the sciences and it's easier to gauge if we're running down or out of resources when starting from a filled up thing. Now, what are you guys doing here? Let's deconstruct you. Um, that's from the, um, let's see, from the weird tab here, an item on ground. And there. Can't have science packs lying around everywhere in the factory. And then I was thinking, let's see, I was thinking, uh, we moved the thing, ah, and it has ammunition now, so I'm just going to blow up some uh, fighters as well before we start. Like so, I'm not going to watch these because we did a little bit of that in the last episode, and although it's fun to see the destruction these bring, I want to... I want to get back to expanding and building and getting the modules going. Let's just remove as many as we can. I want to see when it shoots this one because I do believe that there might be more, you know, inside the circle because this camp is tiny. Let's see. Yeah, that was good. So let's... Ah, and it's exactly inside the artillery range as well. That's nice. I hope we get all of these as well. I'm not... Yeah. Good. Now, a camp here we can't do anything about yet. And then we have a couple of camps down here. And... Like so. I think that's everything that's in range right now. So that's fine. I'm also going to expand our radars a bit. Uh, here we don't have one. We can also deconstruct these guys now. Maybe put up one more of these, just to be sure. And a radar here. And that's there. As long as it's protected, it's fine. And I think that was it. Let's make sure our research is flowing. Yes, okay. So modules, I'm going to build the module making arrays first, and then we probably need to expand some materials for them, but we'll see. Oh, there's also uh, one more thing. Uh, the blueprint I made, let's see, 837. Yes, I changed the title there because it said 867 and that was uh, strange and wrong. So I moved that. I should probably, yeah, let's delete this one and get a new one. And I'm also going to uh, plop that down. And I'm thinking maybe expanding from here might be risky. And I guess it's risky to expand right now anyway. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one down here because that seems fitting. And I'm going to try to make one of those squares to see what the pattern ends up as. I think it will be like, uh, like uh, a cross almost. So let's start with you there. Now, the important part is that the robot parts get placed and I'm not completely sure if that's inside right now. Uh, so one more radar, I guess. And the radar can be here. What's, oh, explosions, cliff explosions, okay. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to place the radar there. 
I didn't place radars in the blueprint because 49 times 49 is too small for needing one radar each. Uh, but it's extremely easy to remove any of the solar panels to just replace with a radar because all of them get... Uh, oh, hello. All of them get um, power. And let's see. Can you... Uh, Let's plop you down there. <laughs> Robots working and working and repairing. It's one spitter. Oh, well. oh uh, research is complete. Now I'm going to put on the beacon research and all of that stuff while uh, making this array. So let's see. This array, it needs... It needs blues, so I'm going to have to add blues to the bus now. And the blues. And the blues. Let's see. What, why is solid fuel? Oh, because the new sciences. Okay. I confused myself there for a second. So blues needs to go. It can be below. I guess it can be replace the uh, solid fuel belt. Let's go with that or it can be the third um, green circuit belt because we refill no, I'm going to leave I'm going to leave space for this and and just move it down here it's easy to find as well when it's at the bottom Something else can be fixed when it comes to you know, when it comes to the um, solid fuel. Is the word solid fuel? And right, are are you not inside the construction area? Should be. I guess it's just far away. Let's look at this one more time just to make sure. No, it's outside. Okay. That explains that. And one rubber board. I kind of want it to hit both there. That's fine. It's not like I need, need the um, logistic area in the middle, but it's nice to... There we go. How it's going to be built. And I guess, I guess, these aren't producing nearly enough. Uh, so, modules and stuff will fix some of that. But it's okay if it doesn't all happen at the same time anyway. So let's see. Let's see. Uh, modules. They require uh, five of each. So I'm not completely sure if... This is going to be um, uh, let's see cargo size. If I'm going to make a lot of each tier three module, but what I do know is that the efficiency module isn't that important unless it's used for you know armor and stuff. And I think the armor needs efficiency module two at least. So have to set up some production of that. But if we're uh, going green and everything now, uh, the power won't be an issue un unless unless I have completely miscalculated and we need so much more. But then we can fix that later with, with the nuclear fuel. So for now, I'm going to prioritize the other two. And I'm going to do it uh, using belts because uh, I like using belts for the uh, arrays, and I'm also going to to um, uh, try to make it somewhat, but it won't be completely in ratio, but somewhat. So let's see. These take 15 seconds each. So say we produce, uh, and, and these require four speed modules. Uh, every 30 seconds, which means two 
every 15 seconds. So we need two of these per one of these. Two of these per one of these. So let's start with, uh, let's see, these make one every 30 second. And tier three needs, I think it's five every 60 seconds. Quickly going to check, where is the research here? Not you, you. Five every 60 seconds, yes. And that means uh, we need, we need, um, with one machine makes two every 60 seconds. So two machines makes four. So we need three machines to be able to keep it running. So I'm going to make three machines. And that means six tier one machines. Uh oh, oh, and uh, of course the radar. At least the fighters, you know, moved in. That was nice of them. Well, let's just wait and see what happens because we blew up a couple of bases and it might be safe enough for the robots to work. So six, three, one, and then compensate with modules. And I'm going to try to make it tileable so we can uh, expand it later. That's two, three, four, five, and six. And then one, two, and three. Because the, uh, let's see, we don't need the tier one module for anything except the science. I need to fix something down there. Like this. I believe. Yeah, it's, it's not like it's worth going down there to shoot stuff. So I'm going to do it like this. And then I'm also going to add, uh, let's remove this one to add a radar. So we are sure we get the radar down there. Okay, so that's three. And the tier two modules uh, if we say this is productivity, I think that one's needed for the... No, it's speed. Okay, let's start with the speed then. You are speed. And then instead of direct inserting this, I'm going to... I'm going to put it in a chest. So that's going to look like this. And you will be a provider chest here. And two for you. Two for you, two for you, and speed. Speed one, speed two, and don't need a blue out here, but I've decided to not use much of the yellow stuff anymore. So I guess, I guess this is just horrible because this one needs input as well. So. This part I can just remove. I can use long-handed anyway. But I, I was thinking about uh, beacons, but I can place the beacons between. There's room, room for that, so that's fine. And I guess we don't need beacons anyway because... Uh, yeah, okay, it's fine, it's fine. But I need a, a belt here with input. Could could also do the input belt, you know, here and just underground it. Uh, let's see, underground, splitter, underground. That way they can grab from the splitter. But that's, is that too messy? Um, yeah, I'm going to keep it like this for now and if I decide to change my mind later, I'll just change my mind later. Two, two, and this is uh, green and red. So that means, let's see. This is the green. And too many. I like to have these short. And then I do the same 
here, let's see. This might be in a completely wrong position, but it's fine. To quote my spirit animal, Catherine of Sky, it's fine. I'm almost considering using. Uh, let's let's request some uh, substations because it's so convenient to use those. Although, uh, let's see. I'm, I'm, I keep thinking about um, about beacons because I'm not used to using beacons. I kind of don't like them uh, because it's a lot cleaner without and uh, and uh, it's kind of a mess with sometimes but uh, but I think it it does definitely add a, another layer of um, of planning and that part is fun so I think when I get into using them now I won't mind as much as I have so far so it might be just that I'm not used to it and therefore I don't like it, which I guess is quite common. And you go in here, here and here. Now these, we need a couple of, so maybe I'm going to do tier three halfway bot based like so and just output like this sure then I connect you to the logistic system and say if we have more than If we have less than a hundred, sure. If we have less than a hundred, you are on. Enabled speed module to less than a hundred. Why are you off? Might be because the logistic system doesn't go this far. Now I kind of want to connect connect them quite close and I'm thinking thinking because if if these connect directly it can feed from the same belt the tier 3 ones and there's just one tier 3 one I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut you and paste you and underground you, red you. This will only use these two though, and not this one. But I guess that might be fine for now. Oh wow, we already have them being made. Nice, we have modules. This is bad. This is a bad solution though, I don't like it. So I'm going to do it spot based anyway. Yeah, and now they're on. Superb. Okay, so you go here. And I'm going to make the typical uh, one provider and one requester. Requester can go there, and provider in the middle. In out and actually need the research as well for speed three. Should be fast. And are you complete? I guess. I mean, we're thinking that. I'm thinking that. What am I thinking? 
I don't like using bots transferring two meters. But I think it's fine. I mean, yeah, it's fine. It doesn't hurt. Because if not, we can longhand it out on a belt. And then we get belt buffer, which isn't really that bad, but when we have bots anyway, that's fine. Okay, let's see what's going on down here. Oh, because it was outside the radar zone, it didn't actually place the items. Okay, so let's re-plop the blueprint now and make completely sure it's aligned so it doesn't get messed up. There we go. Now it's going to happen. And then uh, doing this here. And probably one more here. Many biters around, so I have to move. There we go. Have to move stuff anyway. Let's see. Speed module three. Finishing the research. This is so nice. It's it's nice to get this going because it takes ages to build them. And I was thinking maybe I should use speed modules in this one. But if I do, I have to use them in these ones as well. And that gets expensive. But I also wanted to check something. Um, I'm thinking there should be a buffer here. But the buffer will happen over time. So maybe it's fine like this. And this is my buffer, I guess. So two of you, two of you, two of you, and two of you. Problem now is that I won't have enough tier one modules. So need to, um, everything escalates because you, you need the modules for every step, I guess. But if I place a beacon here, it's going to drain a whole lot of power, but it will be cheaper on the modules, I think. Because two modules will give to, give to um, four machines. Yeah, it will be twice as efficient, but it's fine like this. It's fine. Though it doesn't have to be that fast anyway. So let's see. Modules, 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 modules. We need a. Ha! Doesn't matter anyway, because we don't have enough red chips now. But why do we not have enough red chips? Because red chips produce slow. Now, the red chip maker is something. I need to look at as well because this one isn't module modulable. So I'm thinking that uh, that the copper line needs to be inside and kind of weaved in between. Uh, that's something I'm going to look at later when uh, when that turns into an issue. Because right now, let's see. Right now, it's it seems expandable. It, it really does, so I'm going to look at this. While these build up, I'm also going to make sure this part is defended because modules are so expensive and so valuable. And yeah, making until 100, that's fine. What's eating all our red chips? Speed module three is done. It's been done for a while. Let's do blue belts. I can do the research anyway. Let's see, efficiency module. Kind of want the armor now. So I'm going to stop this for efficiency modules as well, I think. Uh, not that it would matter because not enough material at all. Yeah, struggling with the science here as well. But it looks like all of them are running. Let's look at you guys up 
here. You know, it just takes ages. Two every six seconds. And one, two, three, four, five. So two every second. Two every second per part. And the belt brings 15. So two, four, six, eight. Uh, this is going to be weird because I'm going to I'm going to fix it by doubling it I think mm, that feels like a temporary fix though yeah it definitely feels like a temporary fix and that's not good so let's see how we can do this I'm going to copy this and play with it here, I think, outside the building area. Yeah, I'm going to shift it one, at least. Uh, let's see, copy, and oh, no, I mean, cut, cut. I'm using the wrong button. There. And then, I have this side here. Everything is going to be wrong now with the inserters, but that's fine. This is read out. This is copper. And then, and then, the important part is that there's only two out here because modules, uh, because beacons, I mean. Let's make one of these. So that takes ages, I can't do that. Well, let's craft one of these. And then have, uh, let's look at this now. I'm going to remove all of the, um, all of the power poles and all of the lamps from this. Okay. So if this one goes here, and then it's undergrounded here. Uh, then it can go like so. And one, you, you will grab it here and then it goes like this and that's doable I think let's look at this one more time this was a bit more thinking than I thought it would be and sometimes thinking hurts and yes, that's a joke. Let's see. You go out. Uh, no, out here. Because we need one of these and insert her in. And, and, um, mm. the important part is that it's tileable, and this looks very tileable. Then I'm going to tear down the outside. Uh, the problem here, though, is might be at least power poles. Uh, maybe substations can fix that. Because there is room for it here if the um, if the input belt is undergrounded a couple of times so that's fine and yeah that's fine that's fine i'm going to build it like this i'm going to tear down our red array and uh, let's see removing the things i actually placed this is nice i think this is a good solution Uh, because uh, these need 
these need modules, I think, because we um, uh, we can use um, not efficiency but productivity modules in them, and that's very useful. Now let's look at the laser shooty pew pew upgrades. That's speed. Where's the damage? Shooting speed. Laser. Energy weapon damage. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Mm -hmm. Now, everything is going to halt for a while now. But I think that's fine. And as long as I cut this, I can always just plop it back down. And actually, I'm going to plop it back down because we can use so many parts from it. Okay. Now, this is very silly. <laughs> I'm not sure how the boss react to this. It's going to remove everything and place everything again. Okay. Well, then, let's start modifying stuff. Oh, poor bots, out of power. The, bot, the poor bots are going to struggle so much now. But, but that's fine. They, uh, they're they built to struggle, I guess. They'll be happy with... Oh no. Oh no, I cut the power to the base. Uh, let's fix that quickly by placing one of these. I think that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. That's scary, because if the biters attack... Now, I wonder if I'm producing more robots right now. Yeah. Because this, this really overloaded the system. Ah, oh, well. Uh, getting more bots isn't bad, I guess. It looks very nice. Okay, that was a bad moment, silly moment. I didn't have to remove the actual machines so what I'm going to do now is remove everything outside the machines uh, so the robots don't have to do that again and I'm also going to remove uh, this side that needs to be a cut though because all of these uh, just this is going to be moved and we can research more damage now sure let's do that should probably limit this did I tear down more power poles now jeez now doing this like on on the fly is a bit hard because you follow a thought and then it's not you know, the perfect thought, which most of mine aren't. So let's see. One out in the middle and there. The rubber port is in the way. Where is oh, it's this one probably from the belts and stuff. Okay. And then we cut the outside of this so it doesn't get built like so no, no it's fine actually that didn't take too long and the recipes are in the um, these can be cut all of them like this also need to set up beacon production Let's see, and then, then use this for the power poles and the lights. No lights in there apparently in the blueprint, so and I guess I should have done this. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to do the belts and the um inserters for um just one side here. And then I'm going to copy it up because this is tileable. So just remove everything all the way up and then I can uh, 
put it back afterwards because the, the whole point of this is that it's going to be tileable. So don't need to make all of it, just this part. And putting down a light here to show. Okay, so uh, if I think the tunnel up from this one will go there and then it needs to go like so because that's in um, and that's bad. I don't remember exactly. Maybe it was like. Maybe it was like this. But there's still no room for the inserter. So maybe the. Maybe the copper needs to be. On the outside. Maybe that's uh, what it's like. So the copper goes here. And then the other two materials go inside. Let's. Let's do it like that. I'm going to, I'm going to do uh, connect these to make it more visual. And I know that's probably a bit silly because I might have to remove them later. Uh, this also looks silly, but I can move that. And then, and then let's see from here. I think here maybe. Yeah, it can be a long underground, that's fine. And then you go uh, here and up and down for the inserter and then back up. And, and let's see, placing the inserters, we need, we need, um, Probably yellows of these, but I think that's fine. And then reds out. Reds out like so. And uh, of course in here. Now this works because we move the copper and it's getting out of the tunnel there. And that's so far tileable, that's nice, that's really nice, but no room for power. But I also think that, you know, red out, tunnel, tunnel, power thing, because the power reaches far, it, it gets both sides. So we, so we can do that on the inside if needed. This Since this is, you know, a, a bit more advanced, it's okay to spend time on it like this and this is the kind of design I really like doing. And let's see. In. Now, this is uh, in the middle of the last one. It goes down. And that's important. So that that because that we need to fix. Here as well. And I guess, I guess removing all of this is going to be nice as well. I have to put up recycling for, for that later, but that's fine. Uh, recycling is going to happen at some point anyway. And then on this side with in, 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 and red ones out, out, out out this nice little squiggly bit here from the tunnels okay so far so good uh, now we need the out belt of the uh, copper cable and I'm not sure if I'm going to stop it here or just drag it on. I don't think it matters if it connects or not, so I'm going to keep it like this for now. 
And then uh, in, of course, from the links. And in. Now, it would be nice to be able to, you know, make a blueprint, copy from this side, and then flip it, like mirror it for the other side. It's not it's not a big thing with something like this at least not when when the work is just getting it um, uh, to, to you know I just need to construct one of the tiles and then it's fine okay so if this is underground because the, the beacons can be here and still hit so if you are an underground, that's two. Then there's room for one of these. If... Yeah, because that makes sense. Need more than that though. Uh, maybe one here and one here. Because uh, two is needed, but this one, this one is kind of spot on. And let's do that on the other side as well. And then, because th this is going to cover all the way down here, and that means it will cover the uh, beacons as well. So let's see how far up this one needs to be to cover everything, and that's between number one and two so that's here that's too bad because then it will shift and to make it completely tileable with as few substations as possible we need to make it tileable with let's see it moves one down it needs to be a lot of tiles because it moves as one machine down and that means it will loop after six or seven repeats so I'm just going to, I'm just going to do one extra, and that's, that can be. Let's see if this works, because it doesn't have to. Yeah, because that that works. There's nothing there anyway, and uh, they aren't that expensive. The substation. Okay, so. This looks nice now. There is also one thing I'm going to add, and that's lights. And I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think one light per repetition is nice. So that means here. Now let's look at this blueprint now. I'm going to make this. No, I'm, I'm not sure if I save this. I'm going to export it first. I can look into that later. But right now, this is important. And um, it looks weird down here, but since we know it connects up here, it might be fine. So let's see if this tiles. And there. It looks like. No conflicts, except for the light here, of course. And boom. Now, let's see what happens when this is built. Because if this works now, I think I'm very happy with it. And I can always add the beacons later. Let's do automation, because... Oh, we need speed modules for assembling machines and that's one of the things yeah I'll, I'll fix that oh, I'll just make a tiny tiny array for just that because we are definitely going to need you know half a million assemblers at some point let's see copper is tiling just fine and the power needs to get here there is the power I think this is nice I like this I think I 
actually did a quite a good job now. now I, and I also suspect that this is where the comments tell me that you forgot and inserted there and nothing is working ever and nothing will ever be good again. So if that happens, I'm very sorry. Um, but so far, so good. You know, there is, there is a small kind of mistake here, and that's that the top ones won't have power unless you tile up one. So, so when uh, when you place the blueprint, uh, there needs to, you know, manually these, and that's uh, there. So I guess that could be part of the blueprint itself, part of the tile, like so. Then you then you have the overlap, and it's quite easy to align as well. So I think that might be. Might be a good thing. Let's see. Red tiles. Red. Let's call it red. Room for bacon. Beacons. And there we go. And you can go away. Now. Is every machine working now? And why aren't every machine working? Oh, because because it takes a little while to for them to buffer the copper cables. That's just fine. Now, this is beautiful. I'm very happy with this. It's probably not the cheapest machine ever because uh, of the way I did the substations. But for now, I don't think that matters much. If I think about a different solution later, I'll change it. But for now, I'm quite happy with this blueprint. So this is also one I'm going to add to my blueprint library, which now has red, green, solar, the um, Diggy Diggy Machines, machines, which is also titleable, and then the smelters that are quite typical. But it's getting there, and uh, and uh, I'm very happy with the solar array as well. Let's see how we're doing down there, actually. We're doing fine. You aren't doing fine, but the rest is doing fine. Let's make that one do more fine and probably tile it here first. Uh, going to going to remove you and place you and remove you and place a radar in the corner. I think that's fine. After this one is placed, I don't want to do it right now. I'm going to replace this one with a solar panel as well. And is that the radar? If that's the radar, I can do the building now. It's probably just going to take the solar panel. Yeah. Okay. This is this is work for the next episode because this episode is running long. I'm sorry about running long, but I, I hope it was interesting enough to see the designing of the red machine and I love watching the machines work after I'm done like this. And what I can do with this as well is I can put the science belts, I think at least. Let, let's see if that's possible. Uh, three. No. Well, if this one goes underground for a bit, I can. Because I, I want to expand, uh, expand this up. But I guess with beacons, that's not needed. This might be enough anyway for a full belt. I haven't done the calculations here, but I'm going to do that when I place the beacons. Because for now, I don't know how much speed it's going to get. Because, let's see, yeah, you misalign them, so they get hit by uh, more than one. And 
so so you don't put them like this because then this one won't hit. Uh, I'm looking at this machine now. So not like this, but misaligned. And then the next one, uh, let's see. Misaligned like this because then this and this and this one will hit. So every machine will be affected by four beacons, I believe. And that means uh, the same as four speed modules. And that means a plus 200% speed, but we remove like 45% speed, no 60. Uh, yeah, so, so it's a calculation. I'm not going to do it now. This episode is running so far over time, but I hope you enjoyed everything and you know, including the spaghetti. So thank you all for watching. Bye bye.